This week, I'm up in the far north at Rangunu Bay on the Karikari Peninsula. I've not ventured this far north before. I've only been to Whangarei and that was for rugby. I'm visiting the Papa Kainga to meet up with locals Wee and Sandy. They are keen to take me diving for Kinnam, a sea urchin commonly found in Aotearoa. Fingers crossed I'll be able to provide kai for the whole whānau. Mauri ora. I'm headed to a Papa Kainga in Te Hiku o Te Hika, established in 2015 by local Wee Kātana Pōpata. Kātaia generally receives a pretty bad rap, but we and his whānau are striving to create a positive environment and establish a legacy for generations to come. Myself and my wahine bought this whenua 13 acres here. So this is our papa kaina, this is our home. We started our kohanga reo first, we got it in our whare here, and we're still in development on building our marae. It was actually quite nice to listen to a bit of kōrero from, from Wee about what he's trying to do uh, and his movement that he's trying to push, about how he's bought the land and uh, wants to start a kohanga reo for the, for the kids. It's awesome to see communities come together like this. We and his whānau are creating a haven of Māori tanga for future generations. Tēnā koutou, ko we kātana pōpata toko ingoa he uri no tūhaka tere rau ko tū te rangi a tōhia a no ngā pōpō o rangaunu nei. Haka tūana mātou he marae, he papakainga, he kohanga, he kura kia ako i ngā āhua tanga o te ao Māori katoa. We're smack right in the middle of te hiko te ika. So we have the options of both coasts, the west coast out of Aipara and the east coast out in Mahia Tai type of Whatafifi. I like that. And if it's blown southerly, we'll go up north to the Reringa Wairua. Sweet. So what's our uh, plan of attack for, the, for uh, today? We'll be shooting out to Rangiputa to get some kina. We'll get a kai out there. If, if Tangaro opens up for us, brother, we'll get a kai. And then we have a rahu area out there that our hapu up there establish. So we'll be just looking around. No getting powers, brother, or you'll have my relation Reuben pulled on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we might as well smack it and get out of here. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Oh. What are we uh, going to see while we're out there, cuz? Other than kinners? Not much, cuz. The series not really good, cuz. Only little. <laughs> and little, you don't want to come back here. <laughs> oh. I know what that means. <laughs> nah, all sorts, brother. Yeah, all sorts, but the main, main, main kai there is kinna. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go and smash it. Let's go. Kinna is a crucial part of the diet up these ways, so it's pretty important that I catch enough to feed the whānau here during the hanging later on. The sea urchin is found in shallow waters and is characterised by the golden spikes covering its shell. Open her up and there should be five juicy tongues ready to eat inside. We're wanting to bring it back. We're wanting our hapu around here to sort out a program for our kids to be out on the water, eh? Yeah. Just do what our tupuna done. You know, we lived off the moana, we lived off the whenua. Yeah. yeah. How many times are you going out for a dive or anything like that? If we have time, probably twice a week. Slay any fish anywhere around the, on either side or what? To be honest, I'm not a fisherman, eh? I'm more of a diver. Oh, I'm the same. 
Yeah. I don't think I'm any good at fishing. I'll give so, it a go. See? <laughs> uh, I'll give it a go, but if I'm no good, I think I'll just stick to what I am good at. <laughs> Blame rugby. Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, when it's on, man, it's pretty cool, eh? Right? Yeah. We're heading to Rangiputa Beach on the Karikari Peninsula, 32 kilometres northeast of Kaitaia. The Karikari Peninsula was a favoured area for seasonal hunting and gathering activities by pre European Māori. Wee's mate Sandy is also coming with us for the dive. And he's got a boat too. So that's us, the Lady Jane and the Salt Shaker, heading out on the water to find some koi. This is Rangiputa. It's a really famous spot for a bit of kind of dive. This is home to me. I've uh, been up here for about 20, 25 years or so. Going back generations, it's all about the sea. And that's us. We're water people. It's just one of those places that you don't get anywhere else, really. It's a one in a million. This water's pretty clear there, cousin. Don't you see this in Wellies? Just like a small cast. <laughs> Spoiled, eh? <laughs> yeah. But um, we better get on to our dive, eh? Because uh, we've got a saying here I need no fati te mata o te tai. Soon the tide will turn, so we better get in. Do our dive cast. E fai ake nei. Ka faka maa tautau hi aho. Ka kitea e nei tangata aka pukina. I'm up in the far north at Rangiputa. I'm about to go for a dive with my new mate Sandy and we. Hopefully we can find us some kina. She's pretty uh, flat actually, calm as. You can see the bottom from here, as I said to we. But he's spoiled for viz anyway. Well, he's uh, you got to wait for these days, so I'll make the most of it while I can. Hopefully. Because he'll pull up some uh, sacks of uh, kina. Babe, I probably would be able to jump in with bloody uh, my board shorts. <laughs> Been done before, cuz. Bro. Remember board shorts, singlet in the tank. Bro, tropical weather up, up these ways, bro. Yeah, compared to wellies. Having Sandy and we just getting to know each other was good. You know, it's just basically like talking to a, to another rally, really. We're always having a laugh. <laughs> I think they're a bit like me. And then, you know, having a local person with local knowledge about the waters is key. Just show me the spots where they're going to get their, get their kinna from. Enough mucking around. It's the moment of truth. Let's see what I made of, eh? Kanaira tamato moana. E korero te kāngane, o rangaunu ke te rau he hoi hoi ngā puta noa. O ranga unu pōpō waka he kaukau ranga huri noa. O ranga unu waipua tātai. I ono wā, e ua ua te mahi ruku kina. Ko te tumanako, ka ki katoa te pikau i ngā kina, mo te whānau e tatari ana ki te papakainga. Unfortunately, I've come up empty-handed, but I'm not going to give up just yet. Sandy reckons he knows another spot that's going to be plentiful. Te take ke kona i rā mātou, Mene aho tanga te te ruku kai moana te hika kia hakako ki wa mata tamariki moko puna. Second time to charm me. Here goes nothing. Tropical, to be honest. Thought I was in the Pacific Islands. The viz there, oh, it's unreal. More than 10 metres. You don't get that much in Wellington. You'd be lucky if you get that. As far as Kaimuana goes, it's still plentiful. There's a lot out there. Kinna's my main game. I'm probably one of not many left in my line. 
of whānau that actually go out there and do the mahi using tangaroa to its full potential. Tangaroa don't wait for no man. But definitely there's always time for learning. You know, we try to get our whānau in there and just teach them the basics, you know, that's where it starts. Once you get the basics right, there's only one way to go and that's up, so it ain't hard to learn. How was that, brother? Pretty clean. Played out really well, actually. The uh, kinders were pretty much everywhere. The viz here is pretty tropical. So the boys up here are pretty much uh, spoiled with uh, choices up here. And I'm getting a bit jealous. Might have to buy some land. <laughs> the bro was telling me, nah, no buying land up here, boy, but I'm going to buy some. No. <laughs> Lucky buggers. No, it was awesome to come up here first time. I've only been as far as Whangarei. It's good that uh, the boys took me out for a bit of a sleigh on the kinners. That's Mickey. Well, I'm stoked with my catch of kinner, and I even managed to grab another cheeky little surprise for the father. Not too shabby. Hey, oi. I moe te hokinga ki te kainga. We and I are popping out west to Ahipara where Kaitaki Rubin is going to give us some insight about this area in the Rahui they've established. Traditionally, a Rahui is placed on an area, or, in this case, a stretch of water, as a conservation measure. Hello, brother. This place is a wahi tapu. It's a na taonga tukuhiho since Timuana. 22 generations I am to this rohe. Tumuana was uh, the captain of our waka called Tinana. He came here from Hawaii and he settled here. He chose this place specifically because it had the moana, had all the kai, ika, had everything that our people needed to survive. And it's my responsibility to, to continue that, that whakapapa. The rahui is something that we want to bring back so that it keeps our culture alive. Practicing these kopapa, practicing manakitanga. After an agreed prohibition period, the rahui is lifted. The rahui is marked by a visible sign with the placement of a po rahui or post. Māori are one of the few peoples in the world to practice this concept. That's why we're doing all of these things, making those connections for our people to practice this kopapa and keep our Māori, keeping our, our tupuna alive. Tupuna live through us. Our maturanga Māori is the way forward for our future, I believe. The day that we stop practising our tikanga, stop practising being Māori, mea kua naro tātou kua mate. That's not a future for our children. It's up to us to step up and to make the right decision wana mokupuna me Māori, for the children and the grandchildren and for our iwi. Oh, it's pretty awesome, actually, like, what they're doing for their people, for their family. I just kind of get over how beautiful that, that area is. Oh, I think they're a bit, uh, a bit lucky. <laughs> this is a big responsibility for us as the Hokainga, the Iwi Kainga, to look after this place. We've fought hard. We've fought hard. We've fought all companies out here, and we've won. And these oil companies, they say, oh, you can't beat them, they're too rich. Yeah. All they have is money. They come from the other side of the world. And they come down here into my hood. Uh, I'm mana whenua. I'm not going anywhere. My army is my mokapunda and my uri. We will fight, I'll fight all my life for this place. And i am enjoy it. Please, come on next fella. Uh... Step it up, create some history for my mokapunda to inherit so that they are inspired to continue their legacy of kaitiakitanga for this rohe and for their mokopono. Kapoi. Good chat about that anyway. Mm. I'm just getting started with start oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Kia ora Ruben for the insightful kōrero. But now it's time to roll back to the Papa Kainga to deliver our kai. Will the whānau be impressed with our catch? And what will they make of my special surprise? Because they're cray, brother. Kia ora, we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a bit of a kai. 
I moe te hakari kina e hihia ana a Ruben te tu fere i te tai kia ki te mehe mea e pakari rā nei ngā arero. Ah ya, he kai, mean, hearty. Show us what you got, brother. Now it's my turn. Good girl. He kai, go and fuck him up. Rodney Soyolo showed me this way. Oh, that making a mess way. But I don't like it because he usually cuts the tongues in half. This comes out pretty clean. That's all right, bro, if uh, you do that in a four or five fellas. When you're trying to feed 500, like Maoris, you ain't got time to do that. All right, Reuben. Show me how it's done up these ways. Anna? Okay. This is how they do it in the Muri Whenua. Well, after you leave it in the bucket for a week, and then you do this. But when you're doing a big hui, when you're doing a tangi or kaupapa, you've got to do heaps of them. Especially when you've got fellas like these who are providing kai for our whanau. Ah, it's very important, mate, this. Nothing like a bit of kaimawana on the table to make it rangatira tanga, eh? Now, what are we going to do with my surprise pack horse cray? You know how to cook these, brother? I've never cooked a packy before, bro. So that's my first time catching one. Well, one of my uncles taught me how to cook it. I reckons boil the water. When the water's up boiling, chuck it in for five minutes, pull out, that's it. That's, that's it. it? Yeah. That's how you do it. Put it to the test, so cuz. We'll the put it to already. the test. <laughs> <laughs> Grab it. Nice. Grab that and that. Yep. Got it. There you go. Butter. Take it to the pot. Hit that one. I'm going Ko ngā tāne era, e mahi māro ana mō tō mātou hākari. While they do that, we'll prep our kinna by cutting open the shells and taking out the yellow tongues inside. Kinna can be eaten raw from the shell, or if you like, spread on some bread. I nei o ngā whenua, ko heke mai ki a kia mātou, mai ngā tino tūpuna o te wahi nei, ko tū hakatere te rangatira. Ka moe ia ki a tūterangi a tōhi a ka puta ko ngā uri o ngai takoto, ngai tōhi a ngā tūterangi a tōhi a te pātū. E a tāhua. Out a uh, pack horse crayfish, so I actually left it up to Wee, and uh, that was his job to cook it. Hopefully, the bro's cooking skills are pretty good. We'll put that to the test when uh, everyone tucks into their uh, crayfish. So, hopefully, everyone sort of doesn't smoke it. I want to have a try before they all get in there. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ja, det er mig, mig. Ei wa fa ka panga e ngai kai he ronga mo mato sina fa ngai he o mato wai ro ki taro te ora ko i kratu ki to mato wai ki amene. I'll take that. It's been awesome seeing how well they're trying to develop the koanga reo and the tamariki until they get up to uh, teenagers. Being there and listening to how passionate we is to help the kids. You can just sort of see how good it's going to develop. Oh, I'll take the jet ski again. It's exactly what they want. It's flourishing at the moment. And they're just hoping that all the mahi that they do, the hard work, pays off so that the kids can learn that lifestyle and that way of life, just like their tipuna did. It's been awesome to sit down and be amongst it all and just learn a few things as well. It's been mind-blowing, to be honest. It's been me. The vibe you get from here is Vanu. This is their family, this is their land. They feel safe here and everyone's all about just looking after each other and making sure everyone comes through. It was really nice. Uh, ko mātou tēnei, ka akātū ki aia tēnei wahi a mātou. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Fun and entertained us with a bit of kapaka, which was quite cool. I think my cousins could do that, all my nieces and nephews. Come on, Kari. Who is going to do the karaoke? Ah, e ana hoki te hoki. The whenua, the kaumona, the tangata. It's all made a deep impression on me, and I can only hope that one day we will let me come back for another cheeky little dive. <laughs> Tina! 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 Tina!